welcome to Plank TV. You are watching Plankton Survival and our team will go to compete for the Charno Championship. Hello, I'm Mahak and I'm the chief scientist for the project. Today we will be competing on the heat wave challenge. But before we move on to our task, let's meet our brave participants. We received our samples from the Charno Bay in Sweden. To do so, we used a 200 micrometer mesh plankton net. Our samples were filtered and transferred to their respective tanks. Hello, I'm Gastro Thoma for the team Gastropoda, and I'm really motivated to win the Zooplankton Challenge. Hello everyone, uh, my name is uh, Leo Pepot from the team um, Maxili Poda. So. Hi, I'm Claude Serra and I will be playing for the Bronchio Poda. I'm here to win. For our experiment, we utilized a microcosm lab setup. We had six tanks in total with three different temperature levels and three salinity levels. Tank 4 represents the heat wave simulation, while tank 1 represents the control. Each of the tank has four replicates and the experiment spanned four hours. We counted the number of dead zooplankton within each sample, followed by fixation and then counted the total number of individuals in each sample to calculate a ratio of mortality. Now let's see our results. For our temperature treatment, we had two elevated levels, 24 and 28 degrees Celsius. However, the zooplankton did not show significant mortality. For the next task, we had reduced and elevated salinity. We see that increased salinity had a significant difference on the mortality. However, gastrothoma seems to have reduced mortality compared to the remaining classes. Finally, we have the heat wave simulation with temperature at 28 and salinity decreased to 17 PSU. Here we see significant increase in mortality for all of the classes. However, once again, gastrothoma seems to be the least affected. And we have a winner! Gastros!